Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. So today's look is gonna be this matte look. It's like a matte eye look and a matte makeup. So stay tuned, see how I created this look. And also don't forget to press subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Hope you enjoy. So I'm gonna start the look off with um, priming my eye I'm using the Peel Away's base and I'm using shade two. I use all my tutorials. This is definitely my go-to best eye primer there is out there. You definitely need to get this. I usually do a tutorial showing you guys how I applied the Peel Away's base with like a flat brush. Um, but I'm gonna show you different techniques and using it just to like speed up the process. So first things first. I'm gonna go in with an eye cream just to like hydrate my eyes um, and I'm using the Olay Eyes Deep Hydration Eye Gel. So with this I just take a little bit and I use one finger just to rub it all around my eye. A little bit on my eyelid. You try and mix them in and that just gives me some hydration. So a different way of applying the Peel Away's base is just popping. I put a little bit on a small little sponge that you have or just like placing it here and then just mixing it in. Making sure you're going all the way up to the eyebrow. And that is just a quick way of applying your base. Because the other way takes a little bit longer because you really cover it and then buff it all out and this is just the quickest way. Wow, my hair is not the one which we're gonna ignore. So for eyeshadows, I am using the Naked 2. Urban Decay Basics palette. So the first colour you want to go in with is Covered, which is this brown. So what you want to do is go in with a little fluffy brush. I've got this Real Techniques one. It came as a set. I'm just going to go in like that. Tap any excess. And then you're going to want to start to carve out the eye. same product I'm just carving that shape and then I'll start to buff it out once I've done that I will just rub off all the excess onto a tissue and just I'll lightly buff it all away once I buff that out I'm gonna go in with a bronzer it's any ones that you have available I'm using like a dark one from Fenty and it comes in the mini and this is in shade Caramel Cutie. Going in with the same brush and again slightly going under the colour I just put. The original colour I used from the Naked 2 palette in cover. And just work that into the crease as well. I'm gonna use this colour here, primer. And I'm just gonna work this into the corner here and a little bit out. So I'm not gonna work it all the way around. Wipe away the excess of my products and just buff that out. Go back in with the bronzer. And then I'm going to do the exact same look on the other eye.
eyeshadow done and uh, next what I'm gonna do is just finish off the eyes I'm gonna go in with undone in the naked two palette which is like the kind of like it's like a gray and a thin brush like this and what I'm doing is just tapping it and then what I'll do is just smarten it up I'll just kind of like lightly brush it this way that's the best way to do it just slow take your time so you don't mess it up just like that so it's like a smoky liner and we're gonna do the same on the other eye Now my eyes are done. I'm just gonna clean the fallout under my eye. I'm gonna take my Garnier and a little cotton bar. I'm just gonna pop on a bit of moisturizer and I'm using the Olay 7 in 1 anti aging. I'm just gonna go back in the same eye cream because I've wiped away a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hand just. Then I'm gonna let that sink in to kind of really create this like matte foundation look. I'm going in with the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cool Matte Skin Perfecting Primer infused with peach, with peach and sweet fig cream. Don't want to come out. Squeeze it on my hand. I'm gonna go over here, here, and in these areas. I'm gonna mix it in. Oh my god, it smells so nice. It sort of reminds me of like the smell, reminds me of like a sun cream I used to use when I was little. I'm gonna go in with my foundation and concealer. So I'm first gonna go in with the Revolution Conceal and Define, which is just like my favorite concealer. It's just really cheap, full coverage, just great. I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear. For me, I thought of this last all day, don't have to reapply, and it gives me that matte look. So, for me, this is perfect. I'm using the shade 1C1, which is called Bone. I usually just use a Skoule, is that what they're called? Yeah, whatever this is called which you can get on like Amazon and eBay or whatever and you just dig out all the makeup so it's great especially when you're at the end of any makeup place it here all around my cheeks pop this at this point someone might walk in and be like you look bitch the other way so now going in with a wet sponge we're going to first mix in the light cup you don't want to mix these two colours together. So when you're using a sponge, you just want to dab it into your skin. I'm going to go in and dab away the actual foundation now. Mix it all in. We've still got this little bit of white line with 
a fluffy brush like this and then you can get a lot closer. the two face it looks like this with gold brine I don't know what it's setting powder but it's a compact one I'm gonna go in with the KKW Beauty um, brightening like I said a powder comes in this really cute packaging and I'm just gonna go in with like a dense brush so you don't want to put too much of this and you don't want to bring it out here so you just want to do this area So I'm going to use my ultimate favourite bronzer, which is quite expensive really, um, it's the Chanel, and it's like the cream bronzer and it's amazing. I'm going in with like a really thin brush here this brush I got in the Urban Decay 2 palette set so I'm gonna go in with the bronzer I'm just gonna put a little bit so starting here working like literally on top of your little eyelashes it's just really close to the line look um, you don't have to add blush I don't usually just to give you that kind of bronzed you know matte look that I'm going for here but if you did want to add one I would suggest going in with like a darker one just a bit more of a peach less of a pinky color so the one I could go in here with is this so if I'm gonna go in with a little bit just to show you what guys it would look like but otherwise I would usually go out like this but I'm gonna add a teeny bit of blush just to so I've got the teeniest bit on my brush and I'm literally just going to work it in like this. To do my eyebrows I'm going to go in with the NYX Professional Makeup Tinted Brow Mascara. To finish the look off, I'm going to be using the lip liner from Pico Cosmetics and this is in shade 504 and it's like a nudie pink. For the lipstick I'm using the Too Faced Sunday Fun Day and it's like a perfect nude. Last but <laughs> last but not least, the mascara. This is the Clinique in black. I'm start going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. So you can see how amazing this is because there's hardly any left. So this is the final look guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Mm-hmm.
I usually do a, I, I usually do a tutorial so yeah I don't know what it's called it's just a little up any kind of access then access S thing the S A dub S Kiko Kiki Kiko Kiki, Kiko. I'm so glad I'm not going.